I'm 30. All right, any children? Yes, I do. I have two girls, two daughters. Right, so what do you think about the subject of sharing a man? Absolutely not. I don't agree with that. I don't think it's, I mean, and it won't work. It just won't work, especially if you're a woman who, you know, just stand, you just got standards for certain things. You're just not going for it. You require his time. You acquire a lot from him. So how could you ever be happy with yourself trying to be, trying to settle with a man with another woman? That would make you so miserable. If you thought you was miserable before, like you, you're going to be miserable. How many different fathers? I have two baby daddies. Two fathers, yeah. Do you hear what's coming out of your mouth? I a do. Man has, a man has to share you with two other men who got kids out of you. Yes, absolutely. Listen, listen. Why but I'm not that... sleeping, but I'm not sleeping oh, with I those men. To... Okay, okay. So okay. I let you speak. Yeah. You're far too animated about this because you know you're wrong. When you come to the marketplace, you have already been sh you've already been shared by two different men, and they got DNA evidence. Where do you, what do um, what does a woman who has two kids by two different men think that this is what I mean? Y'all were taught that we would owe y'all everything. Your value, okay. What do you think your value is relative to the market? An average right. woman, if an average woman is here, what do you think your value is? If an average woman is there, I think my value will still be on average. Will still, and I'm just being honest, because regardless if I have two baby fathers or four baby fathers, well, I won't necessarily say four, but regardless of the fact, I'm a damn good woman. And I, I'm going to hold myself up here regardless of the fact. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. Don't talk to me about your feelings. Let's talk about the math. Get if an average about woman is here. You, you ask me, me and that's not, that's okay, not so you can't no, you can't do that. That's okay. Man, I don't know you. If you gotta over talk, you're losing. I'm tr I'm listening. I'm listening. Okay, if an average woman, if an average childless woman is here, mm -hmm. you're saying your value is on par with her. How can that be? Because that according to the math, <laughs> according to the math, you have two children. Yeah. Does that increase your Can value? I explain? Can I explain? Does that, does, do children increase your value to the market? If they're good kids. No, 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 kids, no, 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 no. If they're no, well kids. I'm, I'm if trying to be respectful, man. I'm trying to be goddamn respectful. Stop it. Check that shit. Man, I'll let you speak. This will go you, off the rails. This answer. will go off the rails, man. I don't do that. Because you didn't let me answer. Ma'am, you're not answering the question. You, okay, here's what we're not going to do. Okay, I'll let you speak. Now, you can have a respectful dialogue. And if you're talking about you're such a good woman, show it. If a woman is average, does a woman, any woman, you or other, who has two children, does that increase her? You guys know damn well I'm not going to sit here and tell a woman she's not worth something, um, she's not valuable, things like that. Because I do know that there are some men who will date single moms and there are women who will date single fathers. I just know in today's times it's very hard to want to date somebody already, let alone somebody who has kids. And this is the thing that I don't understand. Why do women put themselves in these stupid ass positions and then get mad at people for giving their opinion? Like you didn't have one baby with somebody, you had two babies with two different men. So not only does he have to deal with the first baby father, but the second baby father. And I don't care what you're doing, where you're at, don't you think history matters? If you go to a job, they look at your resume, why? To see if you have experience, to see what you have been doing with your past, correct? This is not a, a job where they want you to have experience with a lot of men. I hope you know this. And I'm not saying that to be rude, but she's saying I'm a damn good woman. So one baby daddy didn't see that and the second one didn't see that. But you're a good woman that hasn't been kept. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say everybody who's in a relationship is happy, flourishing, and love because that's not true either. But you're going to tell me you didn't learn from the first baby father, but now you have another baby father with two different kids. And then you have to, do, you have to think about this. There's women out here that are your age looking twice as good with no kids, less stress, more time on their hands. 
You know what I mean? And I don't think you understand. You might say your kids are good, but he might get around your kids and they're not good. They don't listen to him. And yes, I know kids don't have to listen to him because he's not the uh, father, but that's the thing. What guy wants to step in for another man that wasn't there? He shouldn't have to. And this is my big old thing, y'all. I'm not the type of person to force anybody to date somebody they don't want to. If a man says, I don't want to date a single mom, cool. Go date a woman that's, you know, under your caliber, somebody that you would want to date. I'm not going to force a man to date a single mom. It's too much work. You guys come with too much drama and too much baggage. And it is baggage because you have two kids they have to take care of. More mouths to feed. And the economy is bad on top of that. And a lot of you women want the same benefits as a woman who doesn't have kids. I don't know, y'all. Like I said, I think a lot of people should be more cautious with the decisions that they make. I'm not judging people for having kids with other people beforehand, but I think a lot of you guys don't get how, de how detrimental that stuff is in the dating game. Dating is hard already, y'all. There's so much stuff you got to deal with with one person now, let alone I got to take care of you and your kids. And a lot of women don't look at it that way because the man's the sole provider and he doesn't even get to have time with you, spend time with you, have fun with you. He's always got to have to take care of you and your kids, help you and your kids. Yes, there are men who do it. God bless them. Thank God there's men that do stuff like that. But no man's entitled to take care of you and no man's entitled to do certain things for you. Like I said, I think a lot of women should be very cautious with who they sleep around with and how they open up their legs. Because in the end, I always see women that are single moms complaining about this type of stuff. But who put themselves in this position? If you would have been more cautious with who you opened your legs around, you wouldn't be in this position. And I know a lot of people are going to call me a pick me and I'm a know it all this and that. But I don't have kids by multiple guys. I'm very cautious with who I am intimate with and who I am with in general. I just have always been sacred about my body and I just don't really like that. And that was one of my biggest fears, y'all. Like, I can be super honest with you. My mom has six kids in total. And my dad has two kids on his side. Six kids in total and we all have different dads. And I, I seen what that was like growing up. That's why I understand so much of this stuff. So a lot of women will call me a pick me. Love my mom, don't have no animosity towards her, but I did see the stuff that she had to deal with and it wasn't easy. So I always vowed myself to never never put myself in a position like that and i'm very cautious with who i'm around I'll, i get called a prude i get called a, a grandma for not putting out but i'd much rather be a grandma than a girl who's over here with three three to six baby daddies and now nobody really doesn't want to date me it's one thing to have tattoos and people not want to date me that doesn't happen but i'm just saying but having baby daddies you can't erase that having multiple kids you can't erase that that's time you can't go back to so if you're a young woman watching this or a young man Stop having um, promiscuous sex with people. Stop just going out there and slinging your fun dip in your starburst. It's not worth it. Because at the end of the day, when you're my age, around I'm 28, when you get to my age or 30, you're going to wish you didn't do stuff like that. And it's going to be harder for you to date. And yes, there are some success stories. And I pray that everybody gets the love of their life. I don't mean this to bag on nobody. Like I said before, I'll say it again. I'm not saying she's worthless. I'm not saying she's not valuable. I'm not saying that. Y'all know I don't talk like that. I don't like putting people down in that aspect. But I do understand this world is competitive. And if a man sees you compared to a woman who has her own place, her own things, no kids, who do you think he's going to choose? You don't even have time to work out and take care of yourself. You see what I'm saying? So you take this information however you want, but I think Kevin Samuels is right in, in a sense. You know, a lot of these women will say Kevin Samuels is dumb. Like he just sits there and degrades women. How does he degrade women when these women apply to be on his show? If you apply to be on someone's show, you know how you're going to get talked to. You guys know my mouth is cutthroat. So if you come over here and talk to me and I give you the honest truth, how are you going to get mad at me when you wanted advice from me? That's just how I see it. Kevin Samuels is not for the weak. And he's trying to help women as much as he can. Rest in peace to him. Y'all know damn well I like Kevin Samuels. Um, and I don't think that a lot of women get this. Doing sugar-coated answers and sugar-coated things isn't getting us nowhere. So God bless y'all. Peace. Peace.